hi everyone welcome back to the channel it's your girl colors and i'm back with another video and today's video is going to be all about my week of 14 of pregnancy so if you're interested in knowing how this week went just keep on watching now before i get started if my energy seems a little off that's because i am extremely tired for some reason i get sleepy really early right now it's only like 9 30 and i'm like dying but uh, I've been wearing this makeup all day surprisingly I don't look sweaty but I actually put this on like five o'clock this morning and it's still making it or I hope so because when I start editing this video I will know the truth <laughs> so hopefully I'm not too oily because I definitely did not blot or anything like that maybe I should do that now well, I'm over here playing trying to make it seem like my makeup is lasting and it's probably really not but uh, I kept on this makeup just in time so that I would be able to record this video. So shout out to me and my commitment, y'all, because I really do want to make sure I'm consistent and posting these videos out on Friday. It's Thursday right now, night, so I am going to get it popping the best way I can. But yeah, if my energy is a little off, that is probably why. So we are going to jump right into the then versus now. If you don't know, I do have a baby girl that is six months old and I am currently three and a half months pregnant or so something like that and I wanted to make it a part of this update series that uh, I compare some of what I was going through at the same week when I was pregnant with her so um, one of the things that I addressed when I was pregnant with Nala was that I was actually really 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 sick at this point and looking back in hindsight i was actually really surprised how sickly i was this early to where even looking back at it now i can see how other people probably took it as i'm over exaggerating or there's no way possible i was having that many problems this early but i didn't even realize i was only 14 weeks early and earlier when i was having all the problems like i couldn't drive i was like darn near passing out all the time and I was like less than four months pregnant so when I was 14 weeks I did stop working I wish that was the case now but that is not the case I am still currently working um, but now I am not feeling as sick as I was then uh, I feel like this pregnancy is going a lot easier than it was for me then shout out to my nausea medicine but even when I'm my sickest now it doesn't compare to how it was then like it was really ridiculous but also one of the things i talked about was back pains yes this is something i'm definitely uh, experiencing this week as well i am getting back cramps and it is really getting a little bit annoying and slightly it's not unbearable but it's definitely giving me a little bit of worry because I don't want to feel like I'm really giving my pelvis and back a lot of work and energy, especially when I'm not on progesterone or any type of cervic, cervical assistance, I guess, with me having the weak cervix. I'm starting to wonder if um, maybe I won't have as weak of a cervix as I did before. I have no reason to think it may not or it may so be the case i don't really know i just was wondering today like they always say that every pregnancy see different so i'm just wondering if this one won't be as much of alarm as it was before but just kind of curious on that but i am experiencing the back pains definitely one of the things i also talked about was that i guess i was in super nesting mode i was doing a lot of cleaning a lot of preparing for baby type stuff at 14 weeks and I'm not necessarily nesting but I'm definitely in in the process of going through all her old clothes and trying to see what she can fit or what she can't fit I'm actually really surprised how many clothes she has I feel like a lot of clothes I didn't even buy and they're just clothes galore everywhere and I remember it got to the point to where she was wearing one outfit per day for a long time but it got to the point to where her one outfit a day hamper got so big to where I had to wash it and almost start over so I am dealing with that but my house is still a mess <laughs> right now 
and I don't have the energy to clean it so I'm definitely not nesting too hard. At this point I addressed how I was actually <laughs> preparing this chandelier that I had saw on Pinterest. Uh, if I have a picture I'll put it like right here of what that chandelier looked like, the DIY that I wanted to do. And so funny because I still have not over a year later finished that but ironically I realized as I was jotting the notes to that situation I actually bought her a chandelier that I wanted to go in her room which is not technically a chandelier but let me try to see let me go grab it yeah uh, I'm back so it's definitely not a chandelier but I definitely wanted to put it um, above her lighting situation and it is I don't know if you can actually tell but it's like this little like flower situation that hangs like this. And if you see her room, um, it's definitely like that foresty, kind of like the baby shower um, type of stuff. So I seen this actually in the Michaels grab bag that is like four bucks. So I thought this was super cute. Let me show you just what the bottom of it looks like. So that's what you would see on the bottom. So I ironically bought this this same week that I was actually planning on making that other, other chandelier. So um, maybe I'll still finish it, probably not. But I seen this and thought this was super cute. Um, I think it's actually supposed to, it's actually supposed to hang like this, which is so cute. Should I hang it like this instead of the other way? This is so freaking cute, but you see like the little hook thing? I am so in love with this. Yeah, I bought that this same week and I just thought that was ironic. So that was all that was pretty much comparable from then to now. Now I'm gonna move on to some of the things that was kind of going on now. And one of the things this week, it kind of started to get a little bit more slightly gross this week because I noticed that I am starting to have a lot of vaginal discharge and I already got previously checked for like yeast infection and stuff like that so I know it's not that but I know it's pretty common that when you are pregnant you start to get a lot more mucus and stuff down there. I don't recall that being a thing before and if it was it probably was a lot later but right now I noticed that it picked up to where I have to make sure that I'm changing my liners even more often than I normally do. So that is that. Also, I noticed this week that I am getting a little bit of a sign of constipation. I was hoping that would not be a thing. And it hasn't really fully become a thing, but I see the potential. Like I have moments like, can I go? And it's like, not yet and then I'm able to go the next time but I still do have the Ducalax <laughs> I gotta make sure I look at the uh, expiration date on that but I still have the Ducalax from last year so hopefully if not I also have some colace and some stuff that I can possibly take to help me out if it does decide to come up in my life so I am prepared for war on that <laughs> Another thing that I noticed this week is that I am getting bigger boobs and they are getting sore and definitely have milk in them. But yeah, I was getting ready for a shower and I looked down and it was like white particles coming from my nipple and I guess my nipple was peeling. I don't know what that is. I do remember that kind of being a thing with Nala when my nipple started to get enlarged again and I feel like they're starting to stretch even more than they were before and I don't appreciate it. I ain't never had these big nipples but at this point who cares about titties because they done came, saw, conquered, and fell off at the same time. So I know I talked about a lot when I was pregnant with her that I was going to get a boob job. Now I don't think I really care enough about my boobs that have a boob job other areas can need of assistance but my boobs I don't think I care I probably gonna have to pump I feel like I say that every week and still don't pump I am just putting it off I really don't want to pump probably gonna have to if it's keep growing like this so I don't know to be continued on that also my weight my weight is 175 so I am up and down to 
13 pounds so I don't remember if that's higher or lower than it was last week but I'm at uh 13 pounds since I become pregnant so I still do think that I'm gonna be bigger this time so I'm just trying to get into the mental prepared now but I appreciate that 13 pounds lost while I can use that to my advantage so that is going to be all for my signs and symptoms there wasn't really a lot going on this week let's just see what the board says and kind of go from there my cravings this week is cereal if you see the amount of cereal i have bought in the last week and a half you would swear i'm feeding like a family of six because i probably literally have 20 boxes of cereal in my pantry right now and it's no joke i'm eating cereal for lunch I'm eating it for breakfast, I'm eating it for dinner. That's all I've been eating is cereal, like every day. Also a little bit of KFC vegetables, but yeah, veggies have been a part of my life the last two days and I can't get enough of it. So I'm talking broccoli, carrots, um, corn, green beans, greens, all that stuff. Um, the part right here that you probably barely can see is that I'm in my second trimester and baby is the size of a peach in one app and another app. Uh, it says that baby was the size of a lemon so if those are comparable in size then that's where we are <laughs> um, the highlights of this week is that baby can suck thumb make faces and I am actually pretty showing which I will show you in a minute and mommy is feeling way better and that's just because it's the truth so like I always usually do I like to read from the app of the progression of baby. I have been usually reading for Pregnancy Plus app, but after last week, I was kind of annoyed that I was reading the same exact stuff that I was reading with Nala, and I didn't want to become boring. So I decided to download a couple apps based off of what people suggest me. Um, today, I'm gonna go off of the Bump app, and if that keep going good, I'm gonna try that. But until I found a sweet spot to which app I'm gonna read from and follow, uh, I'm just gonna be bouncing around based off of suggestions. So next week, I'll probably try the Baby Center that people said. And I think Glow was another one, but I thought that was a period checker app, but I guess we'll look into that then. So it says baby is the size of a peach, roughly about 3.3 .3 inches and 1.50 ounces. Baby probably is sucking thumb and wiggling his or her toes in there. Baby's kidneys making urine at this point and the liver and spleen are doing their jobs too. Baby's growing um, lango, I don't know how to say that. A thin peach fuzz like hair all over. It'll help with keeping the baby warm. I thought that was called like, it started to be like burning and burn on. I don't know, they're born with that white stuff on them. I thought that's what that was called, but maybe this is a different name. It says that his or her almost doubled in size and weight since last week, keeping it growing. And then it starts to go in how I'm feeling, if I'm feeling queasy and stuff like that. So I guess that's really it. It doesn't really say much else. So I guess we can go ahead and look at this belly bump and then we can keep it pushing. So let me go ahead and get up. This is my belly bump this week. Um, if you watch my other videos of my progression with Nala, you would know I used a tape measure and measured the belly the whole time. That is something I do plan on doing with this baby, but um, that will probably be next week because next week is the official week when I started measuring for baby Nala. So I want to be able to compare the two and do it that way. That is what baby Isaac is looking like I'm definitely getting a lot wider and my line is continuously getting darker and getting less squishy so yeah oh lord Jesus be a fence be a barricade be a border lord <laughs> I am on my way to striking out really soon so I really do hope within the next month or so I am able to not be working that would be great but it just depends on the health of the baby. I don't wish anything bad for the baby. I don't want stuff to be wrong just so I don't have to work. But 
at the same time, I think I am putting myself at risk. So I'm gonna be having my fingers crossed. So within the next two weeks, I do have my first cervical ultrasound with the same doctor who was giving me manual cervical checks. So I'm hoping he kind of remembers me and we can get a little bit further in answers. But if I don't get it there, I definitely will probably get more reliable answers at my 20 week anatomy scan. So yeah, so I think that's gonna be all for this particular video. Um, I really do appreciate you guys stopping in each and every week to see how baby Isaac is doing. So I guess that is all for this one and if you haven't already just make sure you like this video subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and i would definitely see you guys in the next one bye